Apple is set to unveil their latest products heading into 2024. September 12th is the date that Apple has announced. Uh, that's just under two weeks from the date of this video. Um, and we are excited uh, for the new iPhone. But there's one other rumored piece of hardware that's supposed to be arriving or unveiled during that event. And that is the second generation of the Apple Watch Ultra. Apple Watch Ultra has been a huge success since their release last year and is really a fantastic product in its build and design and quality. But is it too early for a second gen? Let me know in the comments down below after this video. Let's get into it. The Apple Watch Ultra really pushed the boundaries of tech wearables last year. Honestly, the Watch Ultra came as a surprise last year when it came out as a rugged outdoors watch um, that was going to be a heavy duty. Uh, sort of wearable. Apple Watch Ultra did come as a surprise last year, but it ended up doing really, really well um, to a lot of people's surprise, but not to mine so much. I knew the Apple Watch Ultra was a great design and I figured it would do pretty well. It did feature one of the largest and best displays on the market, um, a close to 50 millimeter uh, design and also uh, an always on display that was you know, high in resolution and, and color. While it was made for an outdoorsy type of activity, its functionality and design made it so that you could have it as an everyday carry. Overall, it was a pretty big success for Apple. So the second generation of the Apple Watch Ultra won't be too much different from the first gen Apple Watch Ultra, obviously. There will be some slight differences, however. First being the new S9 chip, which will be the latest chip for the Apple Watch lineup. Right off the bat, you're getting performance bumps, you're getting battery efficiency bumps, all that good stuff that you get in with a new chip, whether it's in your phone or your watch. So uh, benchmarks aren't fully out yet, but I do know that we'll get some improvements in terms of performance and efficiency. The next change I think they're going to make is I hope it's a hopeful one for me at least is the darker titanium uh, version of the actual case. Um, so we haven't seen that with the Apple Watch Ultra. A lot of people do like the silver design, but I do think if they come out with a darker titanium similar to what they've done with the phones, um, I do think that would be a popular uh, make and model for the Apple Watch Ultra second gen. Let me know if you agree in the comments. Along with the new darker titanium finish, I do think we'll see some new bands this year. Uh, last year, obviously, they had the Alpine Loop, the Ocean Loop, and the Trail Loop. So I do think we'll see some second versions of that. I think those are great bands, good quality. So uh, they'll probably just, just kind of piggyback off of those designs. And lastly, as far as sizing goes, in terms of the Apple Watch Ultra second gen, I don't think they'll really change from the one size. Uh, that's close to 50 millimeters, I think it's like 49 millimeters. Um, I don't think they'll do a separate, separate size uh, for the Apple Watch Ultra. I do think it's you know designed to be kind of a bigger, more broad face um, and design. So I don't think we'll see that change maybe in the third gen, um, but I don't think we'll see that in the second gen. Now, I know you guys are wanna know about price. I do think price-wise, obviously the gen one released at about $800 last year. Um, and then obviously you got the bands that were you know $99 average somewhere in there. I do think that this year the Gen 2 will probably be around that same price, which means hopefully that the Gen 1 will probably drop in price. So my recommendation, if you don't have an Apple Watch Ultra yet and you're thinking about getting one, you may just opt for the Gen 1 um, at the reduced price. I don't know what that'll be. And then if you do have the Gen 1 already, probably not needed to upgrade to the Gen 2 um, unless you just really want the newest Apple Watch. So overall, that's my take on it. I do think it's gonna be a great product nevertheless, but I do think it'll only be a slight improvement from the first generation Apple Watch Ultra. So give me your take down below in the comments. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you made it all the way through, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. 